North Melbourne. I've never seen them tackle as hard as they have this week and last week, particularly against the Tigers. There's the siren. And uh, North Melbourne have come out victors in the elimination final. 19, 14, 128 North Melbourne to less than 16, 19, 115. Well, they'd be very happy. Gary Dempsey coming up looks very tired, Law. But at no stage have the Bombers ever had them, and did they deserve to win it? They won the match on their merit today, uh, North Melbourne. David Dents played in many finals. Simon Madden, not a great player, did some good work in the ruck. Going up there is, uh, let me see, it's uh, hurt, I think. But uh, no doubt, as I mentioned before, the Roos would certainly be very delighted with their win today because from the very word go, they led and they, at least uh, the Bombers did fight back and uh, then it drew level with them in that uh, last quarter, but it wasn't good enough. The fella came on there, stone him, particularly after half time, and he made the difference. They bounced back, but it wasn't good enough. But it seems to me, uh, you know, you, you can't understand why sides get a hoodoo about certain games, but this is the fifth time they've played in an elimination final and the fifth time they've lost. So they're certainly going to be concerned about that. Final scores in the elimination final for 1982. We see North Melbourne winning by 13 points, 19, 14, 128 to Eston, 16, 19, 115. Tonight's big league replay is part of the Holden BFL 82 Premiership season. North Melbourne running out winners, 128 to 115 for the Kangaroos. Malcolm Blight got five goals, so he needs only one for the century this year. Phil Cracker got four for Essendon, copping four goals, and Terry Danaher also got four goals. Two reported players in the match as we look at the statistics for the game. Phil Carman of North Melbourne was reported by goal umpire Loudon on a charge of allegedly striking Walsh of Essendon during the third quarter, and Walsh of Essendon was reported by goal umpire Loudon on a charge of allegedly striking Carman of North Melbourne also 